Hey guys, it's Meow. Uh, I have a special treat for you today. We had this uh, giant crown war on my world. Um, basically, we got woken up. Uh, for a lot of my players, it's the middle of the night at the time this battle happened. Um, so basically got alerted on our chat device and there were already about 60 enemies on the way. Um, so right now, just recording some of the other battles um and then the the main battle happens somewhere in the middle of this video uh, but just kind of want to get a glimpse of how big those the enemy alliance look. does a great job uh the entire time uh sending fake attacks a little bit early uh to try to get our people to speed ahead and jump um causing them to bounce off when the battle is over um so luckily we saw it coming we were able to stop most of our people um and nothing happened uh, as we're coming up to the battle here, you can see some of those fake attacks. Luckily, nobody speeds ahead. I calculated ahead when I would need to use a 25% speed just to make sure I arrived on time. Once the main army hits, you'll see that the bar right under the, the gun icon will actually have a lot more red in it. So as we see that here, definitely the real battle. Time to speed. Um, I jump into chat, tell everyone to go if they haven't already. And now the main battle will commence. As the battle goes on, you'll see that there's quite a bit of lag. Um, as for most of the battle, it shows the red bar a lot larger than the blue one, um, even though there's defenders landing. The battle is pretty drawn out, as obviously the times for reinforce and attack were not all exactly even, so people kept landing from both sides uh, and recreated the layers. Um, definitely works out to extend the battle and and leave it open for more people to join if they do see it and have enough speeds. As you see, there's quite a few march lines that still haven't made it to the battle. Um, not such a big deal on the defensive side as you'll just bounce off, but on offense you actually end up being a smaller battle that you end up losing a lot shortly after, which you'll see here. It appeared that the defensive side, the blue side, was going to lose the battle, as you look at the report, you'll actually find that that's not true. Um, this is just caused by some lag in the server. Obviously, with over 100 players, things are going to get backed up. Um, but I do have a replay next that is the lag-free battle if you want to see that. As this replay plays through, just want to thank you guys for watching. Um, if you haven't watched any of my other videos, there's quite a few tutorials in there. Um, and I do plan on making weekly content, so please make sure to like this video and subscribe so that you get notified of that content immediately. Thanks again, and be sure to stay inside.